my name is Greg Mulder. I'm a physics instructor at Lynn Benton Community College in Albany, Oregon. At LBCC, I teach two types of classes. First, I teach traditional classroom physics courses such as physics with calculus, astronomy, physics for poets, and many other classes. I also teach a project-based course on remotely operated vehicles, um, known as ROVs, um, that combine people from all sorts of majors, including physics, engineering, writing, welding, machining, computer science, and many more. At this term, I've started using Dino in my classrooms. The ROV team has put together a short video describing how Dino has changed their classroom experience and improved their ability to work together as a collaborative group. In Paleolithic times, a tribe of hunter-gatherers was interested in increasing their catch of fish. Then, as now, testing our designs and predictions required many trials, as well as lots of footwork. However, we would take what we learned and discuss possible improvements. A steady dialogue, although hampered by the low baud rate of time, would result in ever better designs. We improved upon this technology. Instead of relying upon a supply of naturally created cave walls, we manufactured chalkboards in the lecture hall. In this scenario, professors would share their knowledge with large groups of students via oral and written communications. The students' roles usually consisted of dutifully collecting notes and occasionally being asked one at a time to share their ideas with the class. Now we are on the verge of another leap in our communication and problem-solving skills. Dino is a classroom tool that allows instructors to engage all students and see their progress through the material. It also doubles as a collaboration tool for scientists and engineers. In the 21st century classroom, your instructor can be anywhere in the world teaching class, and students are no longer passive observers in the learning process. The goals of scientists and engineers have not changed over the millennia. However, the tools available to them have improved. Using Dino in the classroom encourages a new level of communication and collaboration that allows our engineers and scientists to pursue new and exciting improvements in our lives and understanding of our universe. I hope that you enjoyed the LBCC ROB team's video of how we use Dino. As a classroom instructor, I see Dino as a way to improve student learning by creating an interactive classroom giving all students a chance to interact, and a way to easily collect feedback on student understanding so that I can constantly improve my teaching. As an instructor of a project-based class, I like the way Dino allows my students to collaborate in a new and innovative way, and allows me to teach a classroom anywhere in the world to students who might also be anywhere in the world. As demonstrated by the ROV team's impression and use of Dino, we are truly entering a new era of classroom instruction. Dino is one tool that's leading the way.